Tonight, me, you, and Richtenstein, sound music guru dude, will be mostly travelling 200 million light years. Right away. Because up there are two galaxies colliding. Colliding galaxies. Mega zoom. Hello, welcome to Devon. I've left the big smoke and it's terrible light pollution. Travelled four and a half hours down the A3 A3 and arrived at my folks' place in Devon, just south of Dartmoor. Say hello, Daisy. Hello. Good God. And for once, we have lucked out on the weather. The sky is amazingly clear. I can't, cannot see a cloud. Which means we can do something really incredible. We can take a shot of uh, two galaxies colliding, I hope. Starting with an ordinary camera and finishing with a thing I spent all my tax money on, I'm going to take us deep into space. That way. To where these galaxies are hiding. Hello, here comes my sister. Hi, Joe. Oh. I'm filming. Okay. Daisy, come here. The dog. Ah. Uh oh. Straight into a tree. That's not good. Okay, got rid of them anyway. So, what was I? Right, so 30 million light years that way, two galaxies colliding. We're going to zoom in. I'm going to point them out with this. We're going to zoom in. I'm going to swap lenses over to 100 millimeter lens, which is my wife's. It doesn't cost me anything. She's an old classic. I zoom in even more and more and more, get closer and closer, and then hopefully end up with this bad boy zoomed in on it. Theoretically really tight. Please work. Um, I'm going to feel such an idiot if it doesn't work, especially having spent all this money on it. I have bought a 10 year old but fancy Avalon linear mount. On top of it is a 9 and a quarter inch SCT. It's my cardboard dew shield. That's a cardboard dew shield. That's my dad. At the back, We've got a fancy Attic 383L Plus camera. And because the galaxy is uh, so far away, I'm gonna have to use, for the first time, an off-axis guider and its guide camera. Actually not very fancy, that one. Hopefully it'll work. It's always a bit of a risk when you buy new stuff, new kits. Is it gonna work? One, the one saving grace is normally you can sell things for pretty much what you bought them for. So um, that's why I think I'm allowed, although I haven't told my wife, uh, to spend four grand. Four grand. Better work. It was at this moment my wife popped into the edit and heard how much the telescope cost. Telescope. Babes, I haven't spent four grand on a telescope. I haven't. It's the whole thing was four grand. The mount, the telescope, the telescope and the mount and the camera and the filter wheel honestly my advice is don't ever tell don't ever tell your wife how much your telescope cost but I think that if I manage to bag these galaxies then you know personally I think it's worth it as with all my videos, uh, win or lose, succeed or fail, I show you the results. Uh, there have been some successes, like the Orion Nebula uh, for 150 quid. Oh wow, look at that. And there have been some failures. Pretty shit. As these colliding galaxies are the most distant and difficult objects that I have ever tried to capture, I'm either going out in a blaze of glory or crashing horribly. Okay, let's do it. The mega zoom will start wide with a 28 mm lens on a Canon camera uh, mounted on a Skywatcher Star Adventurer, which is just a little sort of clockwork tracker that counteracts the rotation of the Earth. I can just about see is, uh, yeah, I can see it. It's just up there, so. The galaxies are in the plough and our wide angle should give us a nice shot of the entire constellation. But it won't be able to resolve the galaxies themselves. For that we need something a little bit bigger. So... Next part of the zoom. Put on this nice 100mm lens. 
so we can get a bit closer. Hopefully we can see the galaxy this time. You've probably got one of these lenses in your camera kit. It's not very zoomed in, but it's zoomed in enough to resolve these galaxies. And the final part of the zoom, of course, has cost me £4,000. And, uh, uh, please, please, please work. Heads up, I, I had a bit of trouble because um, I needed to lock onto a guide star in order to counteract the rotation of the Earth very, very precisely. And this zoomed in, there weren't many guide stars to choose from. But eventually I found one, I locked on, and my mount tracked very precisely, and I was good to go. Just climb up on this bench. So we are going just there. Time for a mega zoom. Let's go. But I'd lost a lot of time finding the guide star. On the stroke of midnight as well, can you hear that? And I started much later than I'd hoped. In just two hours, the sun rose again. And I was stuffed because I'd only had enough time to shoot my luminance, my black and white. I had no color data at all. But then a miracle. The next day was sunny too. And as the sun set, the stars came out. It was a clear night. And I had two nights in a row, folks. Two nights imaging. So I got my RGB channels. I got everything I needed. And uh, yeah, we did. We are go for Apollo 11. I was so pleased. We're on time at the present time. I came up with a genius plan to reveal the colliding galaxies in the most spectacular way possible. I have the rocket fuel. Hi everybody. Well, I thought it was genius anyway. Rick, Rick didn't, but I bought him some beer, so he went along with it. We're gonna essentially pretend that we're in a spaceship zooming towards these galaxies and while we're revealing them, while the shot is zooming in, I want you to feel some kind of cosmic inspiration. And live, yep. Richtenstein. I'm going to hit the tunage. You're going to hit the tunage. Nice. And attention all personnel. <laughs> Shit, it's real. LTC. LTC is go. Rocket booster. Rocket booster go. Richtenstein. Richtenstein. It's go. Astronauts report it feels good. How long have we got? 15, 15. 15. Before we can begin the mega zoom, the small matter of escaping the Earth's atmosphere. Okay, this is it. Engines are thrusting, just gonna release the brakes. This back window that you've manufactured here. Yeah, that's one of my finest windows. Quick shout out to those clever flat earth people. We accidentally left the next scene in by mistake. And everything you thought was true is true. true, 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 true. Oh look, the earth. Oh my god, it's round. Hmm. <laughs> it is I round. Was told it's flat. Well, <laughs> It is flat. We've had to actually. We had uh, to. Uh, we had we to had, doctor that. We had to doctor it to make it look globe. The Earth is of course flat. So it was a dinner plate. Yeah, with a big wall of ice surrounding it. Yeah, no one's been watching Game of Thrones or X Files all their life and come up with this theory. Okay, so here we go. We're revealing the mega zoom. Get ready, Richtenstein. Prime yourself. I'm ready. Feel the cosmos. Here it comes. Here it is. Oh yeah. This is the 28 millimeter on the Canon camera and quite a lot of work in Photoshop, trust me, on that one. But it looks great. And to give the zoom a little more wow factor, I've, I've done a conceit that we're traveling at one light year every second. 
So in 30 seconds, we'll have reached the stars of the plow. Uh, the galaxies, however, are so far away that even at this incredible speed, it would take a year to get to them. They would have to do a, a little bit of zooming. And uh, yeah, here we go. Now we are going past the stars of the plow and this is the 100 millimeter lens. You should just be beginning to see the galaxies now. And we're heading towards my 4,000 pound shot Yep, that's, this is it. This is it, everyone. There they are, they're colliding. Colliding galaxies. Whoa! That's it. Oh, brother. <laughs> that was amazing. Cheers. It was a good shot. Richtenstein, that was staggering. How you do that stuff, man, just from looking at the screen. So that's the two doing it. Yes, Rick. I spent £4,000 just to see two galaxies doing it. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, Rick and I leave you with two colliding galaxies hard at it. Every second is 10 million years, um, so we can't really accuse them of peaking too early, can we? If you liked our video, then please subscribe and share. So a like, a subscription and a share. All three, well, obviously only if you like it. We liked it. I think you liked it too. You've got to the end. You must have liked it. So subscribe and share. This is Astro Biscuit and Richtenstein signing out. <laughs> <laughs>